Hey, it's Alex, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Springboard Software Engineering Bootcamp, but this also applies to all of their other bootcamps. I have a link in the description with all the information on Springboard with a big discount. All thoughts and opinions are my own. My name is Alex. I've been making Java tutorials on YouTube for the last five years. My teaching style has helped a lot of people and a lot of people are interested in you know, the job side of things. Because for the most part, people are learning these Java skills and coding skills to get a better job, specifically a job in tech. But I learned that the coding side doesn't always match up to the job side. So I've been trying to find partners that can help you out with that as well. I graduated in 2018 with a computer science degree from NC State College of Engineering with a minor in statistics. I've had a software engineering internship in college. Right out of college, I got a QA test engineering position at a big private software analytics company and I still work there to this day, so it's been over five years. So I have experience teaching people programming. I also have experience in the real world with how tech jobs operate and what they're looking for, and I also have experience on what college universities are teaching their high-level computer science programs with. I actually found Springboard online about three years ago in an ad, and they were really pushing this job guarantee, so I was interested in that because if I was going to do a coding boot camp I would want some sort of guarantee that I actually get a job after. And if I was interested in changing careers, that would be something that I would definitely consider. So Springboard got my attention with their job guarantee. So I reached out to them and thanks to you guys, you guys were able to let me give you a discount. And I also got two week access and was able to shadow a mentorship call. So I'm gonna give you all my thoughts and opinions on how that went right now. So let's first go through the Springboard website together. You may have seen it before, you may not have, but I'm just gonna give you an overview and my thoughts in real time. Springboard is a fully online coding bootcamp. It's all online. Their goal is to get that in-person coding bootcamp experience online for you. And there's a few reasons for that. One reason is because if you have a full-time job, it's harder to go in person. That takes so much time. Maybe you have kids or a lot of other responsibilities online makes it easier for people to time manage. Also online can be more cost effective because there's not in-person expenses to worry about. So that was their goal is to get you a fully fledged out coding bootcamp online, very structured, and to just keep you accountable all the way. And I'll show you all that in a second. They have mentorship calls and real people talking to you and making sure you get through it. So here we have learn online with a job guarantee learn through projects, work one-on-one -on -one with a mentor and career coach, super important, both of those. I was a mentor and have had mentors in the tech industry, so I know how important that is. Career coaching, also extremely important. Land a job or your money back. They have a money back guarantee, which I'll talk about more too. They have different kinds of courses. I'm gonna be focusing on the software engineering one, which is what I had access to but they have different options for you. And also the discount will work on all of them, not just software engineering. So if we click courses here, you can see all the courses they offer. They offer data analytics, data science, design, software engineering, cybersecurity, and tech sales. From some of the YouTube polls that they've been doing on the Springboard YouTube channel, I've been seeing that software engineering, design, and data analytics and data science have been the most popular ones and cybersecurity and tech sales are a little less popular, but can be a great option as well. You can take a little quiz here if you want to, to help you decide. Springboard is mostly targeted towards people who want a career change. Maybe they've been working in a completely unrelated field for like 10 years and are like, this isn't going anywhere. I need a better job like ASAP. They want to help you with that career change transition in an easy way. Or if you haven't gone to college or college isn't an option for you, or even if you've gone to college but still are having trouble finding a job, that's what Springboard is trying to help with. Want a new career? Okay, let's do it. In three to nine months, you'll learn what you need to land a job that you want. Three months is very generous. I would say six to nine months and maybe even 12 months is more where you would realistically get a job. Again, we have the courses here on the side. They give you, you know, a good quick explanation just in case. Some of their tracks you'll see, data science career track, some of them will have a job guarantee, while some of them will not yet. It might have to do with their confidence in the track and how long they've been working on it and seeing students get results, which is super important. I'll get to that as well, because you really want to pick one that has a lot of good results. You don't want to pick a bootcamp that doesn't have many good reviews or testimonials because you're not seeing the proof that the bootcamp is actually getting them from point A to point B. 
I personally like Springboard a lot because it has all of those results. Here they're saying take the guesswork of getting ahead. That's because they create these fully fledged courses. I'll show you some behind the scenes in a second. We get it online, flexible to fit your life, deep projects, work with a team of real people invested in your success. So you get one on one mentorship calls about once a week, I believe. You get your career coach and a student advisor, and you also get access to a Slack group where you can talk to other students and peers going through the same thing, which is so important. Oh my gosh. In college, my fellow students were my lifeline. Oh my gosh. They helped me through so much. They helped me understand so quickly. And that's another reason why I started this YouTube channel. So here we go. You got a job guarantee. Um, there's some terms to this. Not everyone will qualify for a job guarantee, but a lot of people do. So make sure you check for yourself. Here's some of the stats. Average salary increase over 25K, 91.5% job placement rate. The job placement rate is different for each single bootcamp. And you can download the placement rates of each individual course, which I think is really cool. I really like the transparency that they have. And I know right now I'm talking about like all the good things that I think Springboard is offering, but there are some cons and I'm going to get to that too. Almost 14,000 students since their launch in 2016. We have some testimonials and in the link in the description, you can enter your email and apply now to get some more information. At the bottom here is really cool too, because it gives you all the information kind of in an easy easier to understand way. Here are all the design boot camps, here are all the analytics boot camps, etc. That's basically it. There are different payment options and different scholarships, so I urge you to if you're interested by the end of this video, apply for some of their scholarships. They have diversity scholarships as well, which I think is really great. You get four different payment options and they include a full refund if you're not satisfied within the first 7 days. You can do monthly payments, deferred tuition, and this shows the difference between deferred tuition and income share agreements. A lot of coding boot camps will do income share agreements, which take a percentage of your income once you do get the job, and that could be a lot. So this is just showing that the percentage of the income paid is fixed rather than an income share agreement, which could be more. And ultimately, based on this, you would be paying less. So let's get into the two week experience that I had with the Springboard Software Engineering Bootcamp. So once you apply and you enroll and you get accepted, Spots are limited, by the way, so there's no guarantee that you will get in. But once you go through the process and you have access, you'll get here. Software engineering career track. I don't know firsthand, but I'm assuming that this would be the exact same for any of the other boot camps that Springboard has to offer. So you'd click on go to curriculum. And this is the page you would be looking at throughout the entirety of the course for the next several months. It gives you an overview. For example, Colt Steele is teaching this with partnership from Rhythm School. Colt Steele is awesome. He's such a good teacher. You'll get to see a snippet of one of his lessons here in a second. It's organized very nicely. There are different steps in particular orders that you can mark as complete where they have different PDFs and videos to help guide you through the course. Next, you'll get into the software engineering part, which is the course content. And they'll link to different articles that, you know, they're free online, but they're guided. So you know exactly what's important and you can just follow the steps. Again, this is all at your own pace because it's fully online. And then you can see more on the side here on the left of what's in this bootcamp. We have web fundamentals, DOM manipulation, different assessments, developer fundamentals, testing with Jasmine. I think it's super important to be learning testing while you're also in software, coming from a test engineer and a software background. And also at day one, they're getting you ready for the job preparation part. They tell you to contact your mentor, your career coach, your student advisor, all within the first week, which I think is super great. In here, for example, we have developer fundamentals where you learn the command line, Git fundamentals, Git branching and merging, and GitHub, all super necessary. Everything that I've looked at within the software engineering career track for Springboard has been in line with what I learned in college from a full engineering four-year school university. So I was very impressed with this. Also, the videos were easier to understand than a lot of my college lectures. So the lecture would take like an hour, but these have like 10 to 15 minute videos and basically sums up what I would learn in an hour in college, at least in my experience. So it's saving time by being online, but the con of that is that you don't get to, you know, be asking questions live. It's online and more secluded by yourself. So that could be considered a definite con for a lot of people, but the videos are great and easy to get through. They also have this study plan page, which I think is absolutely amazing. You can move this slider and decide whether you realistically want to get the job between six to nine months. You can change the slider based on how you think you'll do. And it lines up everything you need to complete within a week, within the second week, all the way down until the very end, which I think is awesome. 
It shows you very clearly how long each unit is going to take. And this is also helpful for when you're talking to your mentor about any problems you're facing and where you might get stuck. This was my experience with the mentorship call, which I'll get to after this. But they basically used the study plan a lot to make sure that, you know, they were on track. Now I'll play a snippet of a video here. This is what you would see as a regular curriculum video. I also really love that they're follow along and very easy to follow along. That's how my Java tutorials are. And that's what they do a great job here of. Again, Colt Steel is very good at this. Next up, let's talk about creating elements via jQuery as well as appending them, maybe also removing. So how do we create things and get them on the page? Normally, if we were doing this without jQuery, we have to do document.create element, right? And then pass in, if we want an h1, the tag name. That makes us an empty h1. Then afterwards, we would save that to a variable or just chain this on dot inner text. If we want to set the inner text and then save that to a variable and we keep going, right? Line by line, we'll update the, well, we create the empty element. We update the inner text. We could add a class. We could change some styles. Then we append it. With jQuery, we have a different workflow at our disposal. So I'm going to show you the append method first. It's another jQuery method. We first need to select something that we are going to append to. So let's append to the UL, that one UL on the page right there. Let's add a new LI. It's pretty easy. All we have to do is pass in a string. I don't have to create an element first. I can pass in a string like this li write html in there and then let's say i am new this will make us an li and that li will have inner text i could even add a class if i wanted to class equals at some point it becomes annoying to keep typing you know complex html inside of a string but if you're doing something simple and i just want to show you what happens here it works we created a new li the inner text says I am new and it has a class added to it. We can see that change reflected, right? It's green, it has that border of salmon, slightly different font size, one line. If we were doing this with vanilla JavaScript, as I already mentioned, we make an empty li. We set the inner text, we set the class, then we select something, then we append all over the course of four or five separate lines. Here we do it all at once. Now I'll get into the mentorship call. This was a 30 minute call with a mentor and a student. I was shadowing in the background. Basically what they talked about was where the student currently was and what they were struggling with. The student talked about their progress with building the portfolio and their project progress. They were also talking about which keywords to target when looking for jobs. And the mentor gave some really great advice here, which I really wasn't expecting. He was saying not to apply for entry level positions because entry level assumes lower pay and a lot of tech jobs can get away with paying less for that. So I thought that was just a really amazing tip just in a random mentorship call. Instantly like setting the student up to get thousands of dollars more per year in just that, that little sentence that he said, which I thought was just amazing. The mentor and the student were also talking about action items, what they need to complete by the next mentorship call next week. And I really just noticed that the mentor really wants your success. And I mean, Springboard and all coding boot camps want your success because then they can promote that their, their boot camp is actually working. You know, the results and the success of the student is how this boot camp exists or any boot camp. So they really do want, want to help you get that job and get a high paying job because it looks better for them as well. It seemed like this student and mentor got along really well. The students seemed very relaxed and chill about things and they had a good grasp on what was going on and could talk to the mentor really casually, which I thought was great. You can always change your mentor. So I have seen um, review videos of Springboard where one data science person um, didn't really get along with the first mentor, but then several weeks later switched, but they had wished that they had switched mentors sooner. And then they got along great with the second mentor. So if you do enroll, make sure you really like your mentor. That will play a big role in your success and your happiness throughout the course. I used to be both a mentee and a mentor myself, and that was really important to me. After the mentorship call, I was able to ask this random student um, some questions. I'm gonna share those answers with you right now because I really wanted to get a real student's perspective on how they were liking it, what they were feeling, what someone else going through the course potentially 
might be worried about or want to know. So the first question I asked was, which bootcamp are you in? They're in the software engineering bootcamp. How deep into the bootcamp are you? They were about 20% complete, which is about two months into it. I then asked, what's the hardest part of the bootcamp for you? And they said, it's still actually review for them because they had some basic coding going into it. If you didn't have some basic coding into it, they have prep courses for a lot of the boot camps. So you could take a free prep course and then start, which I would definitely recommend if you don't have as much experience going into it. But this person did have some, so it was a little easier to get through the first few months. Next question was, do you feel like you're on track to get a job within six to nine months? Which is basically the entire reason why you would wanna do this. And then they said, I hope so. They feel like they definitely will if they put in the effort. They fell off the boot camp for two weeks because of personal reasons and responsibilities, but then they were able to get on track easier because it's online. I also asked, what made you choose Springboard over other coding boot camps? Because there's a lot. They said there were great reviews and they were also considering Flatiron and Thinkful, but ended up going with Springboard mostly because of the mentor and the great reviews and the results. And the last question I asked them was, would you recommend Springboard to a friend? And they said, Yes, definitely. They said the mentorship alone was the biggest reason why they would recommend it to someone. So now let's wrap things up with my conclusions with the pros and cons. Pros of Springboard boot camps. You learn a lot in a short amount of time. It is slightly cheaper than other boot camps because it's online. All the course material was exactly in line with what you would expect, even coming from a full four-year college engineering experience. Very up-to-date and very career specific. They know what jobs are looking for. They know what skills you should have. It's very, very organized. The lessons are easy to follow. You get a mentor, you get a career coach, you get a student advisor, and you get access to a Slack community of peers. Most jobs come from referrals. It's the easiest way. And when you have that many connections in your network, it's very easy to get referrals. I got my job and both my internships through referrals. Another pro versus like if you tried to self-learn is that this has no guesswork. It gives you everything you need to learn. Even though some resources are free online, this shows you exactly what you need. You don't have to spend time digging and being constantly anxious of if you're learning the right thing, if you tried to self-learn online. I could never self-learn online because I need that structure personally, but a lot of people do have success and it saves them a lot of money. Let's get to cons now, and then we'll get to other alternatives. Cons, it is online. That is also a con. You don't get in-person experience. A lot of people learn better that way, going into a physical location, being surrounded by peers, getting to answer and ask questions in person can help a lot to understand things faster. Since it's online, it's fully self-paced, so you need a strong work ethic to get through this. You have to do all the work yourself. There is some hand-holding, but it's really 100% you. You are responsible for getting all this work done. It's very intense, that's why it's called a boot camp, and it's gonna be very difficult. It was very difficult for me in college to learn these concepts. I thought I wasn't gonna get through it. I thought I was gonna fail a few times, and I think you might have the same experience here. Programming is difficult, tech is difficult. It's harder when it's not taught very well. Luckily it's taught from a world-class teacher here and you need to know that going into it. Almost everyone will say though that it is definitely worth it, me included. So it may be too intense or fast for some people. It is expensive. There is a discount in the link in the description, but it is still expensive. It's an investment because you're paying a lot of money to learn skills so that you can make money to have a great check job. I love working remotely. I love working in a team. It's the best job I've ever had. Also, I guess another con is that you're still gonna be Googling and YouTube searching on your own to get through these projects and assignments. They encourage you to do that because they recognize that that's how it still works in the real world. I Google every day at my job. And I think that sums up about all the cons I had. A few closing thoughts. If you go through the bootcamp, and you really want a dream job at a big tech company, don't write off smaller tech companies because I've heard a lot of people who get their dream job at a big tech company, but are unhappy because of management and a lot of other factors, but could have a really great experience at a smaller tech company. So don't write them off, still apply for them, and you might just be happier there. Again, I really like that they have results. Definitely look at the student outcomes because that will give you confidence that, hey, this A to B, no job, go through the program and then you get a job is what you're paying for. That's the entirety of it. I give you a behind the scenes, but if you're still skeptical, look at the outcomes because outcomes are real. Also, again, make sure you research your other options. There are other boot camps out there that might be better for you. So definitely do your research. Look at reviews online of people who've gone through the boot camp or have some behind the scenes of it that could help you make a decision. Also consider a four-year university. It just depends on where your life is at the moment and what you think could help you the best. I went to college, but I know if I wanted to get into a different field, 
that was completely unrelated, then I probably wouldn't go back to college for that. I'd do something like a boot camp where they have everything for you within six to nine months and a job guarantee. Again, you can get all this information and a discount in the link in the description. I hope this helps you make a decision. And if you go through it, I really hope it gets you a job. I'm confident that it will. You just have to put in the work. It's not gonna be easy, but it will be worth it. So thanks, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back in my regular Java tutorials.